The month of May is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the entire AAPI community and pay tribute to the generations of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders who continue to enrich America's history and are instrumental in our future success. As your Chief of Police and as an AAPI member, it is important that we continue to build our relationship with the AAPI community to enhance the community's confidence and trust in our department. Critical in building that relationship and trust is ensuring diversity within our department, including members of our AAPI community. Over the years, we have seen AAPI membership in our department grow and individuals ascend to the highest levels of our ranks. While I am extremely proud of the work that has been done by those who have come before us, there is still plenty that can be done to ensure our continued success. Aloha, I'm Police Administrator Elena Nihoa Asukan of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm the Commanding Officer of Records and Identification and an Executive Board Member of the Law Enforcement Association of Asian Pacifics, also known as LEAP. In 1978, members of Congress passed a joint resolution marking the first 10 days of May as Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Week. Over the years, the celebration was expanded to encompass the entire month of May. The month of May was chosen to commemorate the first Asian immigrants who arrived from Japan in May 1843, as well as the first immigrants who arrived from China in May of 1869. While these arrivals are largely considered to be the first documented Asians in the country, it should be noted that the first known people of Asian origin to arrive in North America were Filipino crew members aboard Spanish trading ships in October of 1587. AAPI members have been making history dating as far back as 1913, when Lung Yep, the first individual of Asian origin, was first appointed as a policeman. He was the first API policeman appointed to the department, but more importantly, he was the first API policeman appointed in the entire country. Another significant accomplishment with the Los Angeles Police Department includes the hiring of Joyce Cano as the first female API policewoman on September 26, 1967. There have been many AAPI milestones to celebrate since then. In celebration of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, the department would like to recognize a few of the AAPI family legacies within our sworn and civilian ranks that have symbolized an individual's and family's commitment to public service and public safety. Family Legacy acts as a guide for future generations, providing wisdom, a sense of belonging, and tradition. Just as Lung Yep once made history, his great-grandson, retired Lieutenant Russell Wong, also made history by continuing the legacy of Policeman Yep and following in his footsteps when he joined the department in 1981. My grandparents on my maternal side lived at a house at 600 North Gower in the heart of Hollywood. We'd go to their house and talk about family and stuff. They did mention that uh, my great-grandfather was a uh, LAPD officer, and I go, huh, that's very interesting. But they didn't have any memorabilia or anything other than, in, than a newspaper article. So I read the newspaper article, and it turns out he was appointed in 1913 uh, by Chief Sebastian. I'm their uncle. Uh, so this all started back in 1990 when I joined the police force and shortly after that Mike, my uh, nephew here on my, on my right, he decided to join and, and I think a few years later then John graduated from college and, and he uh, joined so you know uh, they're both my nephews. I believe the acceptance among the Asian community um, of law enforcement being a noble profession has greatly jumped. My family has dedicated to themselves to a life of service, great grandfather served a police officer, um, my grandfather served in the army, my uncle also served in the army. I have had a larger connection to law enforcement mainly because of my dad. I feel like this opens the door for us to discuss, hey you know what, we are our own people, we are our own culture and this is what it's all about. The Police department um, personnel, I mean, they're great people. And that's why I've stayed so long. <laughs> I don't even want to transfer. I didn't want to go anywhere. I just wanted to stay here. It was my home. Policing is a lot different. It is. It's decided on times of 2024 as opposed to 1991. 
and you know, change is good. What my dad has taught me and what I believe he's, he's learned in his experience with this department is that with that change, you know, you adapt and overcome or else you're gonna sink. And because he taught me that, I've, I'm more than excited to continue my career here. When the community looks at LAPD, they, they, they see the same diversity that they have in the community. And, you know, I think that um, as AAPI officers, you know, in some respects, um, you know, we shoulder a little bit more responsibility. I worked three years as an Asian gang investigator. I do a lot of Asian crime, dealing with nothing but Asian community related crime. Uh, language barrier is one thing. I think there's a sense of comfort when we get on site and talk to them in their language, understand their culture, why certain things happen, uh, immediately put the community at ease. Because of really the past struggles of some of our um, you know, forefathers, you know, they experienced the discrimination, they, dis they experienced the, the positives and negatives, and it all forms to what we are today. I think it's good to be able to represent the Asian community, kind of give kids out there that are, you know, looking to be police officers or think that they can't be police officers because of their ethnicity, maybe, it, you know, it's, it gives them a little bit of hope. I think it's great to be recognized and, and to share um, a little bit of each of us. When I told my, my Lola, my Lola, my grandparents, I'm kind of a police officer, they kind of looked at me like kind of crazy. And I said, it's okay, it's, it's different here in America. It's, it's an honorable profession, we're not corrupt. So they supported me, which is which was a big change for our family because I was the very first one in my family, my, my whole family, both sides. You know what I mean? So then by her seeing it, she's the second generation. It means a lot, I think, uh, for a lot of people, especially first generation, first second generation, who come here. Their parents are working, and uh, there's a beacon of light when they see someone of their same uh, heritage, ethnicity, or where they came from. A beacon of light says, "I can do this," and I see a lot of people. Um, looking not just Asian Pacifics, but just in general, people looking saying, hey, there's possibilities. Um, and if I work hard and I do the right things, I can get there. Our forebearers come from all walks of life and have contributed greatly to this wonderful community and country. During this month, we come together as one to celebrate our contributions. The department recognizes the outstanding work, entrepreneurship, innovation, and accomplishments members of the AAPI community have made in Los Angeles and in our great nation. Thank you.